Hi, welcome to this video on equations and inequalities for year 10, higher tier, and it's from the White Rose Maths uh, website that has plenty of resources for GCSC, Key Stage 3, Key Stage 2, and even Key Stage 1 maths. So I would advise and recommend that you go and check them out. It's www.whiterosemaths.com or .co.uk. We're going to start with question number one. Solve part A, the equation 12 plus 5x equals 42. Well, if I subtract 12 on both sides of my equation to balance it respectively, I get 5x on my left-hand side because 12 take away 12 goes to 0 is equal to 42 take away 12, which is 30. I'm then going to divide both sides by 5 because 5x means 5 times x. So the opposite would be dividing by 5. So x is equal to 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Okay, and that's my answer for question 1a. Okay, part b, solve this inequality. Okay, so adding 10 to both sides so inequalities are treated the same as an equation but just keeping the sign there for consistency 38 plus 10 is 48 48 is less than 4x okay dividing both sides by 4 i get that x is greater than 12 okay or, or reading it from left to right 12 is less than x okay so remember that is the same as writing x is greater than 12 okay it's just different conventions of writing the same thing essentially in maths this is question number two write in terms of x the inequality shown by each number line well if we look here Okay, this is x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, because it's shaded in circle there, so it's going to have the equal sign. So it's 3 or more, so it takes the values 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc, etc. It goes on essentially forever. Okay, this one, we've got minus 1, okay, is less than x because it's a hollow circle. So, x is greater than minus 1, but less than or equal to 3 because it's a shaded in circle. So, just to be clear, guys, when I shade in the, the circle, then it's got the equal sign. Okay, if it's just a hollow circle, then it doesn't have the equal sign. So, the values that x can take for this one, if you're interested, is 0, 1, 2 two and three and all the other values that range from anything bigger than negative one but smaller than or equal to three okay if you're looking at some decimals this is question number three guys solve the inequalities show the solutions on a number line x plus four is greater than three well if i take away four on both sides to balance the inequality I get x is greater than negative 1. Okay, 3 take away 4 is negative 1. So x is greater than negative 1. So it's going to be, so let's just change the colour here. So it's going to be a hollow circle at negative 1. And it's going in this direction. Okay. So x can take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc, etc okay this is question part b guys okay so i've got to solve this inequality well if i subtract one on each part of my inequality okay i'm going to get 2x in the middle and then i'm going to get less than 6 and greater than negative 2 okay if I then divide through everything by 2, okay, x is going from negative.
one to three. So it's a hollow circle there, all the way to a hollow circle here. Okay, and that would be my answer to that question. Okay, this is what I call like a double inequality. So I can still treat it in the same way by balancing each part essentially respectively, yeah, like with the same amount, okay, for each inequality, okay. And this is the answer that I get. This is question number four, guys. Electrician A charges a fixed fee of £45, pound, £45 pound plus £20 pound per hour. Okay, so let's just call that 20H. Okay, so that's, that's, that's electrician A. Electrician B charges a fixed fee of 20 plus 25H. Okay. Now look at the question, guys. So just reading this question carefully. Form and solve an inequality to show how many hours electrician B is more expensive than electrician A. So the inequality sign is going to be this way because this one has to be greater than this one. This one's electrician A. This one's elect ele electrician B. So let's just solve this. Okay, go ahead and solve it. Okay, taken off 20H on both sides. So hopefully you are following me so far. I'm going to get 45 is less than 20 plus 5H. Rearranging this, so subtracting five, uh, 20 on both sides and then dividing by 5, we get that 5 is less than h or h is greater than 5 okay and that is the region so when h is greater than 5 then it satisfies this inequality and it solves our problem okay for electrician b and a this is question number five, guys. Shade the region that is satisfied by both of these inequalities. X is greater than negative one. Well, that's going to be like a dashed line. Like this. Okay. So it's everything to the right of it, because it has to be greater than negative one. I'm now going to plot this graph. And I can just rewrite it as y is less than or equal to x plus 4. So it's got a gradient of 1, okay, and a y-intercept of positive 4. Okay, so let's just put that, that there. Okay, so x plus 4 is going to look something like that. But let's just um, put in some values. So when x is 1, y is 5. Okay, when x is negative 1, y is 3. Okay, so we can start to see that it's going to look something like this. Okay, so like a straight line. Oops, it's, gonna, oops, it's a bit tricky to do it freehand. Okay. Obviously, I haven't drawn that perfectly, but I'll try my best. There we go. So, that, that, that's as pretty much as perfect as I'll get. So, y is less than or equal to f x plus 4. So, that's going to be in this region here. So, we will be looking at this region here. So, it's everything... This area here guys okay so it's covering everything okay so we're looking at this part here so if you follow my black oops let's just change oh no now I've, I've deleted that line that I needed okay so it's everything in this region 
I say imagine this little trapezium is everything in this section okay following all the way around like that okay part b circle the points that would lie within this region okay so this one would actually lie because obviously i haven't actually drawn it perfectly but it's meant to go through positive four okay so minus one three lies on that line okay so i'd say it does yeah so it does actually lie within that region one five one five so that also lies on it okay three minus ten um that would also lie within that region okay although it's not actually on it but it would also lie within that region okay i think i might have made a mistake guys i don't think these two actually satisfy sorry because there are actually points on the line okay x has to be greater than negative one so it can't be that one actually and for this one when x is 1, 1 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 5. That's true, yes. So that will lie on there. Whereas this one, x has to be greater than negative 1. It can't be equal to negative 1 as a coordinate. Okay. So I hope that actually makes a bit more sense. This is question number 6, guys. The rectangle below has an area of x squared plus 5x plus 6. Factorise the quadratic to find an expression. So putting this into double brackets is two numbers that add to give you positive 5 and times to make plus 6. Well, the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. So it's x plus 2 and x plus 3. Okay. Part B. If the area of the rectangle is 42 centimetres squared, then find the value of x. So if the area... Okay, so if x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 42, I'm going to solve this quadratic equation. So I would subtract 42 on both sides. Now I haven't got much space here, so I, I might potentially skip some steps. Okay, so minus 42 on both sides so hopefully you're with me so far so we get x squared plus 5x minus 36 is equal to zero now that factorizes into x plus 9 and x minus 4 so therefore the solution because we are looking at an area x can't be a negative number so the value of x that will satisfy this is x is equal to positive 4. Because if I factorise that quadratic, I get x plus 9 when I factorise it, and x minus 4. Okay, when I factorise that quadratic, and if you're not happy with that, then feel free to check by expanding it. It's two numbers that add to give me positive 5 and multiply to give me negative 36 the factors of 36 are 1 and 36 2 and 18 3 and 12 6 and 6 9 and 4 okay if i've not missed any out okay 9 take away 4 gives me positive 5 okay so when i solve this equation i get either x is equal to negative 9 or positive 4 and because we are looking at an area the area can't be a negative therefore that is my solution x equal to 4 centimeters okay this is question number seven okay so that is actually a four guys sketch the graph of y equals x squared plus 3x plus 4 okay now if you're interested it goes through so it factorizes into x plus 4 and x minus 1 so it goes through negative 4 and positive 1 
t on the x-axis and positive 1 and it goes through negative 4 on the y-axis okay because when x is 0 y is equal to negative 4 so if you're interested obviously i've jumped the gun a bit here i factorize that quadratic into x plus 4 and x minus 1 okay so that's been times by x minus 1 Okay, and you can check by expanding that. Okay, so two numbers that add to give me positive 3 and times to give me negative 4. Well, the factors of 4 are 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. Positive 3 is made by doing plus 4 take away 1. Okay, so if I solve the quadratic, it goes through negative 4 on the x-axis and positive 1 on the x-axis and it goes through negative 4 on the y-axis okay the second part will actually need us to actually factorize this so when is the graph less than 0 well if you look here the graph is less than 0 okay so it's looking okay because think of it as this is my x-axis okay so it's saying when is the values of x less than zero okay so it's the line y equals zero we are looking at okay so it's all the points below the x-axis so it's going from minus four to positive one okay so x is greater than negative four or strictly less than positive one and that would be you solving the quadratic inequality okay so it's seeing where is the graph below zero okay remember that when you make it equal to zero that's solving the quadratic so that's the line y equals zero so we are essentially looking at when is the graph below the line y equals zero well it's below it for this region here okay right guys so that takes us to the end of today's video so sorry if i actually waffled on a bit actually or sorry if i like if i jumped some steps before i hope you were able to like read my handwriting sorry if it's not very legible but any questions any queries any comments please put them in the comment section below okay thank you so much for watching and making it to the end of this video if you liked it please press like please subscribe to the channel if you're new and lastly please click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads on this channel okay but that's it for me today guys thank you so much for watching take care stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you for the next one